Suppose the radius r, height h, and volume v of a cylinder are functions of time t. How is dv dt related to dr dt if the height of the cylinder is constant? So when we're doing these related rates word problems, I usually try to draw a picture if we're talking about an object um, that needs some sort of visualization to help us set up the problem. And so uh, this problem is relatively uh, basic in that not too much is happening, but still a picture can be useful for defining our variables. So here's a picture of a cylinder. And that cylinder is defined by the uh, radius r, so it would be the radius of, the, of one of the bases. So we'll call that R. And um, the height H would be how high the cylinder is, H. And so um, for this particular problem, we want to figure out how dv dt and dr dt are related to each other. But the extra piece of information that they give us is that H is going to be assumed to be constant. And that's really important. We need to know what's varying over time and what's constant over time so that we know um, which of the variables depend on time. And so uh, since we want to know the relationship um, between dv dt and dr dt, we need to start with some sort of relationship between v and r. And h, of course, is involved too. So we're talking about the volume of the cylinder here. So the volume of the cylinder is um, pi r squared h. And uh, the way you can remember what that um, formula is, is the area of the base would be the area of the circle. So that would be pi r squared for the area of the circle. And then you multiply it by that extra dimension height. So now that we have a relationship between v, um, r, and h, we take the derivative with respect to t of both sides. And um, that'll give us our relationship between the rates of change that we want. So on the left-hand side here, we have the derivative with respect to t of v. And so this is really kind of nice notation in that that just becomes r dv dt, one of the things we're interested in. it. And the other side, um, we are trying to take the derivative of pi r squared times h. Now pi is always a constant, but depending on the setup of a particular word problem, r and or h may be varying. Uh, for this particular one, we are saying that h is constant, and so really what we're looking at here is the constant multiple pi times h, and then we need the derivative with respect to t of r squared. Okay. So we have dv dt equals pi times h, and then when we're taking the derivative with respect to t of r squared, um, we know that r squared is really like a power rule problem, but the inside function r depends on t, so it's actually a chain rule with it. So we, for the power rule part, uh, we, ha we bring down the 2, the power 2, and we drop the power on the um, exponent by 1. Uh, so that's our simple power rule, but we've got the uh, derivative of the inside that we need to pull out using the chain rule. So that would be the derivative of r with respect to t. So uh, to make this a little bit simpler looking, we can uh, do this multiplication. So on the right hand side, we have pi times h times 2 times r times dr dt. So all of those terms there are multiplied. In multiplication, we can reorder in whatever way we want, regroup in whatever way we want. And so um, I think a nicer way of seeing this would be 2 pi h r dr dt. And that would give us the relationship between dv dt and dr dt uh, that we're looking for.